I wouldn't say a friend of mine, but I know him. There's, there's another defector, Nikolai Kochlov, who defected long time before I even joined KGB. Uh, he was also a KGB in, in Western Europe. Now he is, teaches psychology in, in one of California universities. He thinks that the Soviet Union developed an ESP, would you believe it, system of influencing the perception and minds of people. And the, the generators of ESP willpower can be focused on individuals and groups of individuals so efficiently that you can literally focus that beam or whatever it is on a pilot or two pilots or three pilots and convince them that actually they are flying on the safe territory so there is no need they, you can convince them that there is no need to to contact the, the, the ground base station and you can artificially draw the plane by brainwave into the Soviet airspace whether it is true or not I don't know but I know one thing that when I was a student and I graduated from Oriental Studies Institute one of my friends he was a extremely intelligent Jewish boy. He graduated from the mathematical uh, department of Moscow State University. After three years, I returned from India for, for vacation, and I met him in the, uh, on, uh, during the reception at the Academy of Science, and I said, what are you doing here? He said, I'm working in a secret research bureau. You know, the secret, which means basically defense, industry they don't have addresses they have post box numbers and I say it's not is it that much secret that you cannot tell me what you research you said you wouldn't believe me brain waves and I never saw him again <laughs> ESP which officially in the Soviet media is uh, described as a pseudoscience and decadent capitalist gimmick to sidetrack the minds of proletariat from the real issues of class struggle but obviously KGB takes seriously that uh, pseudoscience Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is to, is to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble and the irresponsible one-sided news stories plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 He could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is our job. Yeah.